Sweet. All right. Dark Dragon here. Um, I'm going to go over questions 9 through 12 on the review. Um, and hopefully we can kind of get a good idea about how to find percentage of oh, or finding the base. Um, so we're going to work with number 9 first. So this is number 9 from the review. Um, we want to find 35% of 500 kilograms. We find 35% of 500 kilograms. Now, any question like this, you can do two, one of two ways. Um, the first way is to remember that whatever comes after of is 100%. So we can say that 100% is equal to 500. Okay. So we're going to find 35% of this 100%. So 1% is divide 500 by 100 which ends up just moving the decimal back two places to the left. So 1% is 5. And then, of course, 35%. To go from 1 to 35, we would have to multiply by 35. So we do the same thing here. We multiply 5 times 35. So 35 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 3 is 15, but that's technically 5 times 30, so 150. Add those together, I get 175. So 35% of 500 is 175 kilograms. Cannot forget our units. Number 10 works the same way, different numbers. We want to find 66% of 770. Now I'm going to show you a different way to do this one. This way would work the exact same way. We would say 100% is equal to 770, 1% is equal to 7.7, .7, and 66% is equal to 66 times that 7.7. .7. And I, I know I didn't write that down, but it could work the same way as this one. Alternatively, we can say, you know, the word of means to multiply. 770, that's fine, we can write that. But 66%, we don't multiply numbers by percentages, but what we do is we multiply them by the decimal that is representative of 66%. So we could say this is 0.66. So 0.66 times 770. So if we did it like that, we would say 770 times 0 0.66, or 66%. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 7 is uh, 42. I had a problem the other day with that one. 42, carry the 4. 6 times 7 is 42, but this time we add 4. So 42 plus 4 is 46. Do that again, but we have to carry our 0. And because this is 6, actually all the numbers are going to be the exact same. 6 times 0 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 7 is 42 again, plus 4 is 46. Add everything up. I get 0, 2, 8. That's a 10, so 0 carry the 1. And 5. There's two numbers behind the decimal, so there needs to be two numbers behind the decimal in my answer. So 66% of 770 is $508.20. Cool. Two more. For this video, we got number 11. 11 from the review says 22% of what is 44? Okay, we can do this. That I said dollars. That's not dollars. I just noticed that. Yeah, it's dollars. It's dollars in the question. I just remember. Never mind. Okay, 22% of what is 44? So this works very similar. If I do it like this one right here, I'm actually going to say that, you know, uh, behind of is blank. So we don't know 100%. We're actually going to find that. We're basically finding the base of the problem. We know that 22% of the is 44. So we can find 100% by finding 1% first. So I'm going to say 1%. Now to go from 22 to 1%, we divide by 22. So I'm going to say well, 1% is equal to 44 divided by 22, which is, of course, 2. Now from here, we, we know that's 2 to find 100%. We multiply 2 by 100, so that becomes 200. And that problem's done. 
Um, now, there's an alternative way to do it, which would be division. We can say, OK, if we have a blank like this, we can just divide by 22%. Um, so we can say 44 divided by 22% is a decimal, 0.22. OK, I don't want to do that. I would, I would rather do 0.22 like this. And remember, we don't put a decimal here. We actually have to move it backwards. And moving it backwards, every time we move it backwards, we have to add zeros. So 22 goes into 44 twice. I guess 44, subtract, I get 0. And everything else is zeros. So fill in the blanks, 200. Either way would work. Um, I actually prefer this way, even though this way in some ways might seem like less work or more work. But I prefer this way. This way it works exactly. It works too. So whatever is you're most comfortable with. Um, number 12, we have 125% of blank is 65. So we're going to look for 100%. We already know that 125% is equal to 65. So 1% is going to be 65 over 125. And I noticed that that reduces. It's OK if you don't reduce it, but I noticed that it reduces now. So I'm going to maybe simplify just a little bit. I'm going to say, well, 65 and 125, they're both divisible by 5. So I'm going to divide this and this both by 5. 65 divided by 5 is 13. And 125 divided by 5 is 25. And now this number, that doesn't reduce, so I'm going to leave that. So this is 1% right here. So I'm going to use that 100%. And it's kind of jumbled up there. 100% is equal to 13 over 25 times 100 over 1. Because remember, 1% was this. To find 100%, we'd multiply them both by 100. So I noticed that 25 goes into 100 four times. So my final answer would be 13 times 4. 13 times 2 is 26. 26 times 2 is 52. The answer is 52. So 125% of 52 is equal to a 65. And that is last problem for this video. So, yay!